I'm in the kitchen going to cook something today. What is it going to be? It's going to be raw, edible cookie dough. And my granddaughter, Macy, was over here and she said, Grandma, can we make that? And I said, yeah, I guess. And so we did. And then I found out I loved it. And so I'm going to make it and show you how, because it's so simple. Even a granddaughter, a little granddaughter can make it. All right. So <coughs> I will list the recipe down below, although you could go on the internet and find it anywhere. All right, a half of a cube, which is a, a half a cube of, I mean, yeah, I mean, one cube of margarine, which is a half a cup. There you go. So you put your mar, I mean, butter, real butter. I should start over. All right, a half a cup of soft, room soft <coughs> butter. It says unsalted. I never buy unsalted butter. I'm not gonna mix salted with, worry about all that. Just put less salt in it when you do the salt. All right, a half a cup of packed brown sugar. And then this one calls for three tablespoons of white sugar. And a fourth teaspoon of salt, which I said to use la, la, a less salt if you use butter with salt, but I love the salt flavor in it to me. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I have real vanilla from Mexico that my son got me, Trevor, when he went down there. And it is, what's the ingredients? Pure vanilla. You can make your own vanilla, I found out. You get vodka and you order vanilla beans off Amazon or wherever you get them. That's all I know where to get them. And you soak them. And you can make your own vanilla. But look at I got a lot here, so I'll use my Trevor's vanilla. He's so nice to me. Okay, and then look at this cute little measuring from Timu cup because you're supposed to have one and a half tablespoons of milk and that was filling it clear full okay and so you have the brown sugar the butter the white sugar the salt the milk vanilla and you're gonna beat it just beat it I'm sad about Michael Jackson I wanted him to be innocent I don't know if he did or if he didn't we'll never know the real truth he was talented, messed up, but talented. Okay, beat it. Creaming the stuff together. I'll let you see what it looks like. I think that's good enough. Then, you know, because it's raw, they say, I didn't do this the first time when Macy and I made it. You're supposed to put your one cup of flour in the microwave, or you can do the oven too, but I says the microwave for one minute to kill the bacteria. Oh, great. Macy and I didn't do that. We just did flour and we ate it. We didn't die. I don't, have, I don't feel like I have worms or anything. So I was glad of that, but this time I did it because this they're coming home, you know, on Saturday. So I'm making this for them to take to them because, you know, they'll be coming home and this will be their Easter treat. That's sick. Okay, then a half a cup of chocolate chips. Okay, we're going to mix that. Now, this time I'm doing something different because I'm doing it for me because last time I put milk chocolate chips. This time I'm going to put mint chocolate chips. 
They're not really mint chocolate chips, though. You can put anything, they said, in it you want. I'm going to put these. And these cream de mint. Because they're my favorite. And I want to try it. Half cup. And I bought them at Christmas time and I never made anything with them. So, I'm going to do it. Now, let's see. I think it says, I wonder if I need to add a little more milk or will it crumb together? Mmm. No, Kelly, you can't have any. Dogs aren't supposed to have chocolate. I do know that. It really said one and a half to two tablespoons of milk. I think it needs a little bit more. Okay. Because... Okay. Now, if you don't have it, one of these, I'm sure you can just use a hand mixer. But if I didn't have my KitchenAid, I have a couple of requirements that I must have to live. Can you guess, knowing me now, what it is? A sewing machine? Have to have it, sorry. And... A kitchen aid. Those are the two musts in my life. And, well, maybe I could add a hot tub to that, too. But if I have the big bathtub, I could get by without a hot tub. But there's certain luxuries in life that I never had until I married Jamie. Mm. You, it's okay to eat it. The electric garage door opener. Now that is a luxury in life. I told my dentist that there's a few luxuries that I enjoy in life. One is the electric opener, garage door opener, and the hot tub, and KitchenAid. You know, because there were years when I didn't have a kitchen aid. I just had a hand mixer. Okay. So, I mean, you know, those things, you could live your life without them. Okay, how many do I need? I need one for Credence. And I bought these little snack baggies. And I put, the, put it in here. And it said you can leave it for up to a week in the fridge, if it lasts that long, that's what they said. Or you can um, put it in the freezer for three months. So I don't, I don't know why, I guess you could put it in the freezer. Some people love, I know this one guy, let me tell you a story. This one guy, his mother, he said when he was growing up, his mother would always, um, make the cookie dough into the long logs, you know, chocolate chip cookie dough. And then when they needed cookies, she would just cut some off and bake it for their lunches and whatever. So he said that he, when he found that out, every time he wanted a treat, he would just go cut off a slice and eat it. And she would never notice, you know, he had to pace himself though and not eat too much because the log would be getting smaller and smart, smaller. Now, I could see my boys doing that. But my boys, they loved the chocolate chips when they were little. And then you would think you had some, and you would go to the cupboard, and you didn't have any. So, guess what you do? I found out certain places to hide them. In your, you know, we used to wear, have big old boxes of Kotex or tampon box. You can hide things in there because the boys never want to touch that stuff. And then when I baked the cookies, I had a Crisco can. You know, they were used to be like metal. 
with the lid and I'd wash them out and keep the Crisco can and put the cookies in there, up in the Crisco, you know, the cupboard. They never touched it because they just thought it was that Crisco stuff. And then I had the cookies for what I needed them for. So, now, then when my kids got older, my boys, and they wanted cookies, I just said, just eat the chocolate chips. Then I didn't have to bake them. But guess what that did to them then? Now, they hate dark chocolate chips because I uh, had them eat the chocolate chips so much. So now I have to put milk chocolate in stuff, not the semi-sweet. Okay, I have the four baggies now of the raw cookie dough for the kids when they come. They'll be their Easter treat. And they'll go, what is it? Take a bite and guess. Unless I eat it all myself. Oh, wouldn't you be sick if you ate this much? Now, of course, if you have more, you need more, you can double it. If you need less, you can half it. Okay, I'll include this in the description below. And I forgot to tell how my car repair, and now I said <coughs> I spent a lot of money that day because I spent today because I spent $210 to fix that light. And then I took Jamie to lunch. And so then I spent more money and then I spent money at LSR. I should have stayed home the whole day and I wouldn't have spent anything. But I had to fix the light. It was my fault. Broke it the first time. I broke it the second time. I do think Jamie went and did it once, but it was mostly me. So I told him I'll pay for it, even though the money's ours, but they wanted me to pay cash because if you used a credit card, then they would have to charge me 3% more. So I said, oh, I'll bring cash. So I did. Anyway, I did it all and now I'm done for the day and now I can go to bed. We're gonna eat the lunch leftovers for dinner tonight. There was enough, so now I don't have to cook dinner. Lucky, so that was worth the money spent. Okay, have a good day, subscribe, and don't forget to make a comment about why you think you should win the little box giveaway. It's a small box, it's not gonna be the big huge box, but I might give away two small ones is what I think I'll do. Okay, bye.